back in your kitchen again. All of you know that I like to cook late at night and it's about the dinner hour. And my husband is just about dying. He's wondering when we're gonna do all this. So we're gonna get started right now so that he can grill some chicken a little bit later. The first thing I wanna show you is a couple of little gadgets that really make your life a little bit easier in the kitchen. And the first thing I wanna show you is this just takes the stem right off of the strawberry. And this little product does double duty. So we're just gonna take this, look at that. Just gonna take it right out of there. It works really, really nicely. I also use this for, to get the little hard part of the lemon out as well. What works well for that. And the cucumbers sometimes, if they have a little knobby on them, I will use this to get that out. And also on avocados, if it's a little knobby on one end, I can use just this little tool for that. So we're gonna do one more. And we're actually gonna drop these strawberries right into this little basket. And you might have to guess what this little basket is for, but we're gonna come back to it in just a little bit. Next thing, I'll just put these over here. It's handy to have a kitchen sink right there. I wanna show you the melon baller. Now this is, obviously this is watermelon. And how many times have you tried to make the cute little watermelon balls? Look at that. So we go down like this and we bring it around. And we're gonna do a whole bunch of these. These are really good frozen. Whoops. A little bit went that way. This is a one whoops, this is a wonderful watermelon, by the way. So again, down and around. down and around. Now, some of you may wonder, well, what are you gonna do with all that rind? That'll be another show, but I can show you how to make pickled watermelon rind. It's absolutely wonderful. So we're just gonna do one more. I really like this little cool. And the person that's holding the camera, she really likes this little cool too. So, this little tool. All right, so that takes care of that. And of course we have them in a camper chef bowl that comes with the lid. We're gonna take our watermelon and we're just gonna put it back here. Now, how many of you like sliced watermelon? I'm not the best at slicing watermelon, but I have my little handy dandy quick slice here. So just let me show you what this looks like. Move our garlic over. Everyone knows I can't do a show or a demonstration without showing the garlic press. But I digress. This is called the quick slice. And this does very, very quickly slice. Also comes with a base. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our watermelon on here, just like that. And we're gonna go straight down. And we're going to turn it over. And look at that. Perfect slices of watermelon, nice and thin. And just, you can also do this with cantaloupe. And I'm going to show it to you with, also with a cucumber. Just a second here. Take this watermelon out. You can use this for avocado, onions, potatoes. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start it just a little bit. And this is just a little piece with a little bit of watermelon, just our cucumbers. Nice, huh? Oh, my, my person doing this, she likes that too, but let's put it this way on here now. Let's make some more slices. Oops. Now, look at that. Is that just not the coolest thing you've ever seen? 
<laughs> I love this. This tool is so neat. And there's all kinds of ways you can experiment with this. This would make a great little salad with a little oil and vinegar, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, of course, a little pampered chef dill. So you can see all those. They look just like that. Okay, we're just going to put this over here. And we're actually going to use this, all of these ingredients in the salad that we're going to make in just a little bit. So I'm going to move this over here. So again, this was the quick slice. So here we have the lettuce cleaner. You hear that, John? Now my grandchildren love to play with this, by the way. They kind of think it sounds like a car. I can't show it on the inside yet. I can stop it. Stop. I just stopped. Now I'm looking here. Now I got this lettuce at the farmer's market. And I've already rinsed it about two times. But you can still see there's a little bit of dirt in there or grit. Could not be without this. This pretty much sits out on my counter most of the time, most of the year. Because anything that you bring home from the store anymore needs to be washed. Even if it's in a bag. Even if it's in a bag, you should really consider washing it. Because you really don't know where all that lettuce has been or the broccoli or whatever comes in. And you can wash broccoli in here. But in my, one of my other favorite ways is to take this lettuce out and we can actually just keep it in there and we're going to put this in here and this would be for your vegetables or your fruits that are more delicate so like strawberries raspberries you want to make sure you wash your raspberries when you get them home because there is a lot of dirt and grit in those and we're just going to set this down on top we're going to give it another whirl. So now we have our strawberries in there. Let's go make them nice and clean. Now this comes with a lid. If you just wanted to store your salad in here, it, will, it comes with. And now our strawberries are nice and clean, along with our lettuce. So we're going to make a salad, and I'm actually just going to walk over here for a second and just rinse this out. And we're just going to make our salad right in this bowl. So we're going to take our salad just like this. And it, even, it feels really clean. If you've touched lettuce and you can feel it gritty, then you know that you need to use your salad spinner. And then... We're going to take our strawberries. Let's see. Well, I don't want to use that. Come back to the quick slice here. Let's quick slice a couple of strawberries. I love strawberries in a salad. Okay. Might be helpful if I did it the right way. There we go. look nice and pretty and we're just doing this very quickly but the strawberries really add a lot to your salads let's do another one here mushrooms too works well with that our quick slice so i'm just going to move this around a little bit more i'm just going to use my hands so we have that we're going to add our melon balls. And if I had an onion out, which I do not, um, I would be adding onion to this as well. And we can just slice this up really quick. And we're going to talk about this knife in just a second. But uh, just throw some of this in here to give it more brightness, more color. And I'm going to grab a little 
little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. And we can add a little salad dressing a little bit later. This is actually the dressing that we're going to use for the chicken. But here you have a quick salad. You know it's nice and clean. And again, I would have actually added some onion to that as well. Let me just throw the rest of this. And here we're going to throw the cucumber in there as well. Just like this. So this salad would really pair well if you used our juicer and you could juice some nice or fresh orange in here. You could put some lemon in here, throw a little bit of dill in it, mix it all up, a little bit of oil, and you would have a great salad. Doesn't that sound good, Jennifer? <laughs> okay. So we're just going to put this over here. Oh, I do want to show you a trick, though. Wait a minute. Let me show you this. So this is a wet paper towel that's in a plastic bag. And my friend Becky showed me this trick, and I love it. So if I had made this salad earlier today, what I would do is I would take just the lettuce, not the fruit, just all this lettuce, and I would pack it in here, and I would put it in the refrigerator. So I would have this all full of lettuce with the paper towel into the refrigerator, and then when you take it out that night, it'll be nice and crispy. And it really, really does work. So I wanted to be sure you knew about that. Okay, next thing we're going to work on is the chicken. And our chicken is sitting right over here in the Pampered Chef, one of the Pampered Chef bowls. These are, this is the smallest of the stainless mixing bowls. Measurements on the inside, pour stop. And we even have a nice little piece on the bottom that will keep this from moving around the counter. It just looks like that. It's just black. And again, these come in a set of three, and I like this little pour stout. So we're going to take our close-in cut, which really works for tomatoes and grapes. Anything you can think of to put in here that you want to slice in half, other than your fingers, will work very nicely. So we're going to take these chicken breasts, and these are giant chicken breasts. The rest of these have been washed when it comes when I get it home. And we're we'll just going to put that over there. And we're going to take the Pampered Chef bread knife. Now these come with a cover. These are part of the German made knives. And they actually have a lifetime warranty. This is probably my favorite one. And we do have a collection of the German made. And you can see it's absolutely wonderful for cutting bread, but I love using it on my close and cut as well. So we have a full tang the whole way down, which is what helps the knife from ever breaking in half. The less expensive knives, the tang starts right, stops right here. So I have put my chicken on here, and I'm going to just close the lid just like this. And I'm going to start sawing. And this is one big piece of chicken. Now, to me, this is the most amazing thing you've ever seen. Look at that big chicken breast. So, if you wanted to quickly grill this, you're going to be able to grill it a lot quicker because it's now cut in half. Uh, we also have a product where we could actually pound this meat, this meat out, and we could fill it up with wonderful things like Parmesan cheese, the, the, all kinds of cheeses, ham, and you could just roll it up. But you would want to pound it out first, and we even have a product for that as well. So, pretty impressive. Most people are not going to eat that whole chicken breast, and that's why I like to cut them in half. And then I cut them in half and I actually put them in the freezer. So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to put this in the Pampered Chef batter bowl. This is the old style. The new style is a little bit more pointy on this side. And we're just going to drop this in here, just like that. 
And I know you're probably wondering, you know, how do we how do we wash this? So I will just run this under hot water with a little bit of soap and I'll scrub it and I'll push it down and scrub it on the inside. It's very, very easy to clean. And of course, I'm sure you realize after you've done chick used chicken, you always want to make sure you're cleaning up and mopping up everything from that. Okay, so we're going to put this over here. Oh, wait a minute, we have another chicken breast. Oh, I didn't realize, I forgot. Let's do another one. So you could put a piece of steak in here, anything that's boneless, tomatoes. So let's go again. Let's go like this. So we're going to one. This one I didn't get quite as in half, but that, that will be easily solved. We're just going to cut it that way. And there you go. Now we need to have some oil on this. And I know we're all supposed to eat chicken that doesn't have any skin on it. But the problem is when you do chicken with no skin, when you go to grill it, it sticks to the grill. So you just might as well go ahead and add a little bit of extra oil just to kind of mix it up. So this is the measure, mix and pour. The measure, mix and pour, actually, it does have the measurements on the side, or you can just make up your own. I buy very little salad dressing in my home because it's just easier for me to throw some garlic, some olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, and of course garlic. So we're just gonna mix it up like this. And we're going to pour it over our chicken. I'm just going to show you this part. You can zero it on that little stirrer. We're going to mix this around. So this is just olive oil and garlic. And salt and pepper. Put some pepper in here. Pamper Chef, by the way. Forgot to mention. A little bit of salt, not much. I got the garlic in there, as I'll just show you the garlic press really quickly. That's all there is to it. A piece of garlic. Just pop it in here, press it down, and we've got garlic. Lots of garlic. And then we're gonna grab the pampered chef. These are pretty cool, look at this. Turn them upside down and then they shut for you. So we're just gonna mix this up, just like this. And my husband is gonna come up and grill this. <laughs> now we could grill this on the Pampered Chef grill inside. So this is the Pampered Chef grill. We can use it outside for charcoal or you can use it inside by just plugging it in. It's a great little tool. We're not going to use it inside tonight because it's hot in my house tonight, even though I have the air conditioning on. So we're going to have Mike go out and grill that on my grill outside. This is a nice little grill. I have sold many, many of these already since we came out with them on March 1st. In fact, I just had a show up in Fort Dodge, and that hostess got this grill. 60% off because anybody that had a show in June could get this at 60% off. And by the way, this month is also a double hostess month. So if your show's over 600, you get double the amount of free products that you would normally get. All right, I am a nice tea person, and I'll show this in a second. I'll show this. So this is our new cold brew. So you can cold brew coffee. And I'll just pull this out to show you. So earlier today, I filled this halfway up with tea leaves. And then I, I made the water hot. I boiled the water in my microwave and I poured it over. So I did it as hot tea. My husband does not like tea, so I'm really enjoying this. So this will probably take me about two days to drink this tea. 
I will tell you, I cannot drink this tea at nighttime because it is loaded with caffeine. But look at that. So I just did this this morning. I could actually say, I like cold brew coffee. This is actually a coffee with a lid, and this is where everything drains out of, just like that. So we want to add, let's add a little basil to this. And this is our herb keeper. So you can put any kind of herbs in here. And you first would want to strip the herbs with our little herb stripper, which I already did. And we happen to like basil here a lot, so let's just add a little kick to this. So it's always helpful when you take the bottom off before you start to grind. And we are just going to grind. Look at this. Give it a little shake. Look at that. Nice basil, isn't it? It, it smells wonderful. Of course, we are big basil eaters here, and you may be wondering what that little ball is right there. That holds the herbs down, so it'll keep them in place, so you can just keep grinding with it. Okay, so that's my little, uh, that's my little demo for tonight. We're gonna have salad, we're gonna have chicken, we're gonna have salad with strawberries and cucumbers, probably add a little onion to it, and I'll throw a little dressing on it. And I think we're pretty lucky to have a meal like this and pretty lucky to be able to have all these great tools. If you want these tools, be sure to let me know and I'd be more than happy to help you get them. Have a great evening.